I just spawned on an island with nothing but a wooden pickaxe. And I'm gonna use this bamboo to craft a boat and swim across the mainland. Minecraft's easy because you have this overpowered crafting table that does all of the hard work for you. But what if you spawned on an island in real life without a crafting table and all you had was your brain? Could you craft things and survive using those same Minecraft recipes? I'm gonna find out. Dad! We have Dad, my survival guide, and he's gonna help me craft a boat using only Minecraft tools and escape to level Level two, the Amazon jungle. We got about an hour till dark. That's gonna be a good half hour paddle, man. So you got a half hour to build a raft. And after finding some more bamboo, sticks, and some washed up anchor line, my human crafting table, Dan and I, had built a real life Minecraft boat. <laughs> It's working, baby! Allowing me to escape the island and move on to level two. I'm alive! We've made history! Now I'm gonna go to level two, the Amazon jungle with the nether portal. Alright, we made it to level two, the Amazon jungle. We need to craft a compass, a map, and a torch to escape level two and move on to level three. And where are we going? I know a guy here in the jungle who can help you craft an iron sword. There's a lot of stuff that can kill you. Snakes, spiders, caterpillars. So don't touch anything unless I tell you to. This place is sketchy. And Dan led me to my first real life villager who apparently lived in the Amazon jungle. Go on. I hear you're a legendary blacksmith and for some reason you live in the Amazon jungle. Well, I hide in the Amazon jungle. <laughs> <laughs> and after giving me the tour of this mansion he built with his bare hands, the question was, would Goron trade with me? So you're gonna teach me how to make a sword, and I will give you this in return for whatever yeah. it's worth. If you help me in making it, we have a deal. So we heat it up. Okay. This is pretty intense right here. So this is steel right here. Okay, where do you get your iron ingots? Well, some I get from old cars. Oh, snap, okay. The blade of Goron. This is kind of fun, Goron. And real life furnaces were actually pretty hard to use. That's a, an anvil. <laughs> I feel like Link from Legend of Zelda right now. But luckily, Goron was a master, and he's been crafting knives for the last 20 years in this jungle. Goron blade is complete. We did it. Yes. And while my new iron sword was cooling down, Goron lent me a knife to protect myself in case an anaconda. Jaguar attacked me in the night. We're gonna head out and set this guy up in camp. Make sure he doesn't die tonight. Don't touch anything. Oh, oh seriously. Yeah, seriously. While I still needed to craft a torch, map, and a compass to escape this jungle, before I could do any of that, I still had to survive the night in the jungle alone. It was getting dark. All right, we're looking for a place to camp. So Goron sent his friend Alex. Without a guide and someone who knows what they're doing, this place can be dangerous. Totalmente. Alex is gonna keep us alive, hopefully, and help us find a place to sleep. But this place was crawling with dangerous mobs. Oh. Yeah, we found a tarantula like two minutes in. I'm curious what else is out here. Araña tóxica. That's a, it's a poisonous spider. Holy mother Christ, look at that. Oh my God, you're giving it a vasectomy. Can I eat it? You can't. Yo, what the f is the close? Another giant tarantula. Look at that. Dan just said that's the second most poisonous frog in the entire Amazon jungle. Oh. I could eat this, right? No. That is a highly venomous frog. Super poisonous. That thing will kill you. Right? Okay. You can jump two feet. All right, I'm out. There's literally creatures on every side of this path. Shh, silencio. Dan, fuck, run, dude. All right, Dan's gonna help me set up a hammock right here, and I'm gonna go to sleep in the middle of this jungle. My man Steve has it rough. Luckily, Goron added a hammock to our trade earlier, and I can sleep on something. This is pretty intense. The last time I slept in a hammock, I had a literal panic attack, and it was time to go to sleep alone in the Amazon jungle. We saw a frog on our way up here that apparently can kill me in 15 minutes. 15 minutes! I believe I could die in my sleep tonight. It is 1 a.m., my eyes are dead. I hear thunder in the distance. Okay, it's like 2 a.m. right now. I hear rain pattering down through the forest. I'm about to get fucked. These are the bullet ants famous for the Amazon. Crazy. And after barely surviving the night, I'm alive somehow. I met Goron's friend Walla, a native Amazonian tribesman who was prepared to make me a warrior and help me craft whatever I needed to escape this jungle. I wasn't quite prepared for that. And Walla just grabbed this fruit and just rubbed it on my face. We're gonna finish the knife with Goron, craft a fishing rod, a bow and arrow, a torch, a compass, and a map to escape the Amazon jungle. While Goron was finishing up my iron sword, Walla and I needed to craft a fishing 
fishing rod before anything else because my hunger bar was getting dangerously low. Since I've gotten to level two, I haven't eaten any food. I'm losing energy fast out here. Walla led me to this tree right here that's gonna be used as our fishing pole. That's teamwork right there, baby. Okay, now we just need string and I have a legit Minecraft fishing rod. Okay, Walla just found this giant worm being eaten alive by ants right now. Candelaria ants, which will apparently murder you. We're gonna use this worm as bait to catch a fish, hopefully. We just caught a worm. Okay, there are literally like a million ants right now swarming us. We're about to get eaten alive. Here, they're swarming the ground. Look at this. That was very nice to watch. Whoa, that was very satisfying. And after I traded my wooden pickaxe to Goron for the iron sword we forged together, I could now use my sword to shape this chunk of wood Walla cut up for me into a real life Minecraft bow. Let's see. See that? See? Goron Blade's gonna let me turn this piece of wood into a bow. Add a little bit of Amazonian wisdom. It's kind of a satisfying process. And boom! We had a bow and arrow. Perfecto. All right. Well done. Right now, we're gonna craft a torch. All right. Okay, we're bringing this back. We got cordage we can use for our torch now. Boom. Look at that. String. Boom. We're gonna tie a nice, sturdy, structurally sound torch together. All we need is some sap in the jungle to light this thing on fire. Keep in mind, Wallace from the Yukuna tribe, so he knows what he's doing. He's literally creating sap right now by opening up the tree, letting it pull out, and he's collecting it with his little container right here. We've gathered this sap in the jungle, and we're going to use it as our coal for my torch. We combine the two, and we have the ultimate flammable substance. We made a real-life Minecraft torch, Walla! Now that I have a torch, I need a map and a compass, and I can escape level two and move on to level three, the final biome. And Walla found us the perfect tree to use as paper for the map we needed to escape this jungle. Now that we have paper, we can craft a map which will allow us to escape the Amazon jungle. Walla puts Steve to shame. Oh, this is sick. Thanks, Walla. Let's go build a compass. All right, here comes our sunlight. It's all we need for the compass along with a stick, okay? So pay attention to the shadow. Now, yep. so I'm gonna mark it. We wait 15 minutes and we mark the shadow again. So that direction is east. Sorry. <laughs> Walla finished an arrow for my bow right here. Goron gave me a hook to my fishing line. We are ready to hunt. Let's go. With my map, torch, and compass complete, I just needed to get some food before I literally passed out in the jungle. So, out of desperation, it was time to put my fishing rod and bow to the test. All right, we're gonna go deep into the forest and try to catch a fish. This is a little bit spooky. The Goron's friend Alex guiding us. We could very well die out here. All right, we found a creek in the jungle. I'm gonna try to catch a fish, get my hunger levels all the way up so I have full stamina when I go to level three. Can you light me up? This is a Minecraft torch in real life crafted in the Amazon jungle. Shout out Dan's lighter that helped us ignite this torch. Okay, there are fish in here. I'm extremely hungry. And using the worm we caught earlier as bait, I was ready to catch a fish, but I forgot how dangerous this jungle was. Super flexible. There's a frog on you. Don't move. There's a frog. Oh. Dan, Dan, Dan. One wrong move out here and I was dead. Oh, it's on me now. Oh, 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 oh it's just a crawling. You can touch him, just don't touch him. I ain't gonna judge this. Yeah, he's just chilling though. Come on. So we're gonna bet the James. <laughs> <Dang, bro. laughs> okay, about. we thought we were almost dead there. But we still needed food. But fishing food. with these handcrafted right. tools food. wasn't as easy as Minecraft made it look. I'm waiting for something to know. bite. And my fishing rod was a piece of trash. It ain't my bait. Food. The jungle. Okay, let's just use the bone arrow and see if we can get any luck. It's picado? Oh, see. Sí. <laughs> wow. You're not that guy, pal. You're not really gonna be able to hit fish because you don't have that skill. <laughs> but luckily, Alex, our native Amazonian jungle guide, was the best archer in his village. I just don't know how many people actually lived in his village, but he was our last hope. Hey, vamos a apuntar el camarón. He's going for the shrimp. Yo, it's a big shrimp. I did. You got it, dude. Yo! Yo, what the heck? I just nailed a shrimp. That thing's getting cooked with rubber right now. Looks kind of toxic. Dude, look at that. Actually pretty good. That's as good as it gets. And after raising my hunger bar to a survivable level, we were ready to escape the jungle and move on to level three. We made it to the ender portal. 
We made it to level three. Bogota, Colombia. My goal is to trade these Minecraft tools we crafted in the Amazon and trade them for a plane ticket back to the United States. This place is more dangerous than the Amazon. Listen, if things go wrong, okay, I'm putting this out. Okay, okay. Here's the thing, we spawned at night. Your chances of selling stuff, not so good. All right, Dan, let's go that direction. While Dan and I were trying to trade with completely trustworthy people we were finding on the streets. <laughs> They said we might get mugged or killed. It's getting kind of serious. Would they have stolen my gear if I waited out there for a while and killed me? Yes. But I was not ready to give up. So we continued to walk the streets at 1 a.m. in a foreign country, begging people for their money. Trying to trade these for a plane ticket. Am I just screwed right now? See you. Wish me luck. And at 3 a.m., with no one awake left to trade with, I was forced to go to sleep in the streets of one of the most dangerous cities in the world. All right, right now I'm going to sleep on a bench in the middle of Bogota, Colombia. My body's in pain. Minecraft tools are not built for a city. After surviving a frozen night, I surprisingly did not get murdered. It's almost 6 a.m. We survived a full night. I think our only option at this point is to try to trade these... <laughs> 